Well, earlier this week, we told you that final regulations for growing medical marijuana in Connecticut have now been approved. Tonight, first and exclusive look at how it's going to be done. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us live tonight with more. Mark. Hi, Sonia Darren. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. The Consumer Protection Commissioner, whose department will administer and regulate medical marijuana in Connecticut under the new law, says he expects many applicants for the three to as many as ten permits to grow and produce marijuana. But Joe Palmieri, whose family has been in the growing business in Connecticut for decades, thinks he has the winning system. This looks like a typical metal cargo container you might see being offloaded from a ship in New Haven Harbor. But to the businessman that developed it, it's the best way to meet the expected demand for medical marijuana under the new state law that is now officially on the books. Inside, it's a perfect growing day, 24 hours a day, every day. These tomato plants are just 18 days old. With computer-controlled feeding and watering, the pod does not need to be opened, so the plants don't need to be tended, monitored by a chemist. Marijuana plants can grow to harvest size in 90 to 100 days. He knows it works because he grew these specimens in a similar pod in Colorado where it is already legal. The neat thing is about the pod design that we have is that we can expand it to meet the market need. Right now, this one pod that we have is set on the basis of a thousand people that are out there. That's the approximate number the state consumer protection commissioner told lawmakers has applied so far, with many, many more expected. The commissioner also said that the rules on growers have two primary goals. One, reducing the risk of theft or diversion of marijuana, and two, ensuring an unadulterated supply of medical marijuana for patients. Palmieri says he plans a packaging facility right here where the stuff is grown, and that security will be like Fort Knox. This can be bolted down, locked up tight, and it's safe and secure inside. Uh, Joe says initially he'd probably need five to ten employees. But if the demand grows as is expected from the initial 1,000 patients, he said he could have as many as 75 employees down the road. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.